Hey guys, it's Icy New Year, and I'm back with uh, another Risk of Rain. This is going to be my final one for a bit. Um, I'm going to basically give my, some final overview thoughts. I've played the game a lot over the last couple days and enjoying the heck out of it. Um, I'm going to go into casual mode. I've tried out all three game modes. I'm going into casual mode for this because I want to be able to just kind of talk about my opinions and my feelings on the game. And in normal mode... I'm going to get way too distracted by the intensity of the enemies, and in hardcore mode, I'll be dead. So, um, I apparently have the game muted. Oh, no, I just turned down low. That's fine. Okay. Um, but, I don't know. I've been playing this a lot, and I've been enjoying the heck out of it. Um, I can't get over how cool the uh, mechanic of uh, the time slowly adding up to... Uh, increase the difficulty is I think that is one of the most unique mechanics I've seen in quite a while and I personally enjoy the heck out of that I cannot wait to see the new items that are going to be added the new classes I'm especially excited about the new classes um and this is one of these like this is going to be a game on Kickstarter they've been talking about adding it on there pretty soon and I will definitely be funding it I mean already decided Ooh, minefield I haven't tried this item yet uh, I mean, this is just one of the most unique indie games I've played in quite a while. It's this odd combination of, like, Mega Man and Binding of Isaac, as my friend Al Gold described it. Um, if you haven't tried it yet, I highly, highly recommend it. I mean, currently, it is completely free. Um, yeah. The mechanics are just, I mean, very interesting. It's so fun to play. Once you get comfortable with it... Okay, that is a cool, cool ability. I like it. Haha, <laughs> very nice. Um, just once you get comfortable with it, like chaining the abilities, it's very, very smooth. I, I, I just really enjoy it. The power-ups, though there aren't a huge amount of power-ups, they stack. Which makes every power-up, like, significant. It's just like, you know, if you find, let's say you find barbed wire, which deals damage in an area effect around you. If you find a second one, you just do more damage, which I think is super cool. So, like, nothing feels like a waste to get. And then, you know, you have the decision between rushing through the level and so that, you know, you can get to the end before it gets too hard or taking your time and very carefully finding all the items and getting stronger as you go, which means you're going to be facing harder enemies because your difficulty level is going to go up. Now... On normal mode, I honestly have yet to get past level 2. Um, I can get to level 2 rather consistently now, but I can't get past it on normal mode. On easy, on very easy, sorry, I can get to level 3, and, I th and that's the last level um, so far. On hardcore mode, I can not get past level 1. I mean, it is a very difficult game mode, which is really cool. It's, uh... It's definitely one of the most unique games I've played in a very long time. I highly recommend trying it out. I've having so much fun playing it. And I'll be doing uh, videos as updates come out. Because it's one of these games I'm going to be continuing to play it. So I'll be doing update videos on it. I'm really excited about it. But yeah, we're going to continue a bit longer. I won't do this full run because, I mean, on easy mode... I mean, there's ways you can go basically forever. Casual mode doesn't actually... Um, like, it won't have any unlocks, so you can't just go through casual mode where everything's super easy and just unlock everything. Uh, ooh, that was painful. There we go. But yeah, it's, um... No, like, I, I can't get over how much fun this game is. There we are. There are, you know, there's obviously some glitches. I, uh... I haven't tried this item yet. Harm yourself to instantly kill an enemy. Oh, interesting. Sure, let's try it. Oh, I still have a timer on it. I, um, in level three, I there's a spot where I got stuck and actually had to reset the game because I couldn't get unstuck. But, uh, I mean, all in all, this is a pretty decent. The AI, like certain things not being able to jump up or down things. I don't know. A lot of, I've seen some people complaining about that, but I mean, personally, I'm okay with it. Because killing people while they're stuck somewhere, like, you know, for me to kill that guy where he, the fireball, right there, where he can't kill me. 
I'd have to, you know, jump, shoot, and... Okay, that's a really cool ability. And it's not that fast. So, you know, it's kind of balanced by the fact that I'm wasting my time, I'm going into a harder difficulty. Yeah. All in all, I've been... Uh, let's go ahead and activate this. Ooh, good hope. Run faster. We're gonna go ahead and activate this. Uh, I've also noticed some casual difficulty. I don't... You don't always get a boss when you activate that. Like, I don't think I've gotten a boss in the first level while activating that. But once that... Oh, okay. I stand corrected. Now, here's a real question. Like, this is one of the easiest bosses because he really... You know, you can easily put him in a position where he can't really hurt you. Ah, uh, oh, I was wondering if that could hit the boss. Oops, shot that the wrong way. Nope, nope. Just gonna bounce around here. There we go. But yeah, um, I don't know. I just, I really highly recommend it. It's incredibly fun. That's like, at its basics, that's how I feel about it. Boom! I cannot wait to see new classes. Um, new items are gonna be cool, but the thing I am most excited about personally is the new classes. I mean, there's such a uh, difference between the Miner and uh, the Commando that I think it's going to be incredible to see what else they can come up with. Okay, okay, okay. Run, run, jump, jump, and boom! Only 15 enemies remaining. Cool. That guy has a lot of freaking life. Which makes sense, he is made of a giant rock. That, uh, Full Metal Jacket shot is the most brutal ability. There we go. Like, right here. I can sit here and just, I mean, nothing can really hurt me. Okay, I'm going to walk through that wall. But, I mean, these stone golems, they can't really hurt me. Because they can't get up to me. Oop, oop, unless I do something stupid like that. But doing this, you know, it's a lot slower than, um, really getting in there and using all my abilities to fight them. So I'm just increasing my difficulty as I go. I don't know, I, I feel like the bosses probably shouldn't be able to be stuck like this. So that's something that could probably be looked at at some point. But, uh, I don't know. Cool. So that's all of them. We're going to go run through the level real quick, see what else we can find. The ukulele is really cool. I got it last run. It does a chain lightning effect occasionally. So what we got? Nothing up there. Boink, boink, boink. Um, the other thing I'm not positive on, and I was talking to a couple people in IRC about this, is I don't know what speed you're expected to beat the levels on. Like, I mean... Do I go, is it, you know, I guess it is more of a personal preference thing, but, like, you know, I have a habit of going through and needing to collect everything. Oh, I've never gotten that. Critical strikes reduce all your cooldowns. Cool. Very nice. Ooh, two shops. Let's go get the random item. Oh, it's the missile thing. Yeah, I, I want the missile launcher over, uh, voodoo doll. Okay, so here, now I have two goat hoofs. I run even faster than before. Which is cool. I'm also really excited to see more levels, um, even though I haven't gotten to all the levels in normal mode yet. So, <laughs> yeah. But the levels are really cool. Um, the designs of them are standard. You know, they're not... The design of the level, the layout, is not randomized. Just where items are, where the um, exit is, all that's randomized. 
So this is pretty cool. It lets you actually learn a level, which is nice. I mean, complete randomization is awesome, but sometimes it's nice to have some standard to it. This game has so much replayability, though. I mean, just because the randomness of it combined with the fact that it's just a fun little arcade shooter. Uh, and then, you know, once uh, unlocks are added, I can't wait to see how that all goes. Oh, cool. More stuff. Oh, barbed wire. Barbed wire is always nice. And infusion. Infusion is brutal. Uh, I don't want that. That um, makes it so any... Okay. I've never gotten up there before. <laughs> you activate it and it gives you health regen uh, based on your shots for a short period of time. It's like a blood vampirism thing. Here we go. Next level. Yeah. Um, the levels are very different and unique, um, which is cool. This is, you know, all underground caverns. This one's hard to navigate. The uh, next level has uh, a snow theme. It kind of reminds me of the snow level from Contra. This one has some really intense enemies now. Because it has the teleporting guys, and they scare the hell out of me. Okay, we're gonna pop that. Oh my god, that's so much damage. We gotta chill out. Like, right here. It's real slow to kill him this way. Oh god, didn't see that guy come up behind me. Serious file. We do need to kill this guy, though. The, uh, health regen thing is... The, uh, increased health from, uh, whatever that one's called. And you can see the chain lightning effect there, which is an amazing tool. There we are. My drone's about to go down. Uh. Oh, my drone went down. Let's go pick him back up. We're just going to ignore that enemy for now. Oh, there's the exit already. Mm, we'll hold off just a little bit on that. Nice, fire shield. We're going to go a little bit further, then we'll come back to the exit. You know, let's go ahead. Let's let's run. Let's rush this. We'll pop the exit, and then um, that way you guys can see the uh, last level, which I haven't shown yet. There we go. Now we just have to survive like 90 seconds, kill off all the enemies. I think that after the 90 second timer, the enemies stop spawning. I think that's what that whole timer thing is about. Oh, magma worm. Okay, there we go. And on casual difficulty, I'm not terribly worried. I mean, it is obviously possible to die, but it's not nearly as big a concern as it is on uh, even normal mode. Or, uh, I think it's called normal, whatever. Ah, oh, the fungus guys. I think they release, like, little clouds of poison or whatever. that. Clear out the room a little. Bring him back up. And the drones, like, as, uh, every time you have to, they die and you have to repay for them, they get more expensive each time. So I really like that. Uh, and I think that stacks between the drones. Like, if you have four drones, each one dying increases the cost of all of them. Oh, that was a lot of damage, too. Get back up, run away. Oh, we're taking a lot of damage. Come on. G, 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 go! Oh man, that's just pounding my drone. There we go.
Okay, my drone's gonna go down again if I'm not careful. Oh, wow, suddenly there's 26 enemies. I'm not exactly sure how the remaining enemy thing works. Like... I don't know if it's, like, within a certain range of you, or overall, because it's, like, 21. One, I don't know if that's a bug, I don't really know what that, what's going on with that. Did that hit him at all? A little bit. Okay, where are you coming from? Up we go, up we go. There we are. Rusty jetpack. This thing's nice. Reduces gravity, a bit of um, jump height. So we're going to grab a couple boxes, get some upgrades, and we're gonna, I'll show you guys the last level and probably end this up. This one to go through and just give, like, you know, a couple thoughts on it. Wow, that's really painful. Okay, I don't want that. That was that was bad. We're just going to go ahead and go because there's... All the enemies are dead, so we can't get any more money to open stuff. I guess we can open this. Then we'll head on out. But yeah, let's head on out. This item here uh, makes it so that uh, when you activate it for a short time, enemies drop money as you shoot them. And I fell. That was a lot of damage. Let's uh, see if we can... Nope. We're going to kill ourselves with fall damage. Let's just leave. Boing. Okay, cool. Up we go. And here we go. Ancient Valley. Frozen Tundra. Actually, this is where I got stuck. I think. It was... Um... I got stuck on one of those ropes. So... And obviously, it was just some kind of bug, but as I said, a little bit of bugs. Honestly, all in all, not bad. A lot more polished than I'd expect for a uh, alpha game. Oh my god, they keep coming. Oh, that's a lot of damage. And all the money we gained there we spent to revive our drone. So let's get out for a bit. I haven't made it all the way up here before. So let's check this out. Mm. Come on. Get down here. Screw it. That was probably overkill. Ha ha ha. Ah, I didn't jump. Up we go. Yeah, there's these crazy bulls. It looks like they tend to keep all the same enemies and then they add more as you go. Because I'll have the teleporters here, and I'll have all the enemies from the first level, and then I get these crazy bulls, and, uh, a couple other things. We're gonna ignore that crazy bull for now. Let's gonna check this out. Oh yeah, these people. These just guys with swords, I think. Which uh, happened to drop just enough to get us our magical chest. Mm -hmm. uh, panic Mines. Drop a mine at low health. <laughs> I like that the name of that. Panic Mines. Oh yeah, and bosses randomly spawn in this level. I forgot about that. That's a thing. You just get random, random boss spawns. Which is kind of cool. Like, And I feel like they could be easily farmed. Also, he seems to be stuck. So that seems like a bug. I think he spawned in a place where it's too tall for him to walk. So, easiest boss ever. We're just gonna stand here and shoot him. And we get a second deal with people there later. If we can pick it up. Nope, I don't think we can get that. Nope. We can go a little bit further, then we'll probably end this up. Sprouting egg. Rapidly heal outside combat. Eh. It's okay. That's the thing. Like, even the okay upgrades, they're still, you know, useful upgrades. Okay. Double sprouting egg. 
Oh my god, lots of monsters. Piggy bank. That gives you, uh, money over time. Okay, okay. Is my reward there a monster? And then the bell tolls, so we're on medium difficulty now. Okay, cool. So let's go... Check out up here. Oh. There we are. Panic mines. And... What we got? Nothing. Oh, I think that was a... Was that a panic mine, or was that just randomly exploding? Oh, Okay, go, 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 go! Missiles! Save me, missiles! Oh, my drone went down. Okay, bring him back up by a random. What's this fire thing? Uh, it's a glitch. Oh, it's a uh, guardian's heart. Out of combat shield. That was a lot of damage. As was that. Oh, these are cool. Uh, chance to do double damage. It basically increases your crit. Oh, chance to call bleed on hit. And I don't have the money for repairs. Yeah, we're probably gonna die here. Nope, we're okay. And that was a panic mine. Um, I'm gonna see if I, there's, I don't know if there actually is a, uh, ow, teleporter or not. So we're gonna check and just take a quick run through the level, see what we can find. And then we're gonna call it. I keep saying we're going to call it. But yeah, there's this thing, which I think that's something that's planned for the future. I was reading a little bit about it. I think that's like, you know, they're planning on adding quests. I don't know if it's going to be part of that system or if it's just like this is, that's, this is going to be a fixed level and you always leave through that. I don't really know. But then uh, that's there. Uh, it doesn't actually do anything. You can't actually go through it or anything like that. So there's that. I don't think there's any other portals. I think this is the end. You'd basically just play this level forever or until you die or quit. So we're going to be stopping after this. Yeah, we'll go ahead and stop here. Um, but yeah, that's, I just wanted to go through my final thoughts. Oh, golden gun. Yes. The more money you have, the more damage you do. This one can be OP as heck. But yeah. I just wanted to give my final thoughts on this game. Um, I won't be doing another video on this until there's an update. But you can, uh, you can expect me to be playing the heck out of it. I'm enjoying it. I highly recommend everyone give it a shot. It is a super fun game. Well, thank you all. Remember to sub, uh, comment, and like, and I will see you next time.